Home Improvement by Mike McD. Jim and Mary couldn't wait to buy that house up at North Hill. They lived in it for one day, and then they couldn't wait to get out of that town. And they told me they'll never move into another house for as long as they live. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I heard it, until Mary gave me the details. Jim won't talk about it even if you threaten him. It was a gorgeous old house, like something out of a 1950s suburban family show. A single story, two bedroom house with walk-in closets and a small cellar. Cozy, stylish. They weren't sure if they were going to buy it first, but the place was so cozy they couldn't resist. First night in the house, they were sitting in bed reading. When they heard this racket in the neighbourhood, like somebody tearing up concrete with a sledgehammer. Whack, 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 whack. Jim and Mary worried it had gone all night, but it only lasted five minutes. They figured it was a neighbour doing a little home improvement before bed. They shrugged and went back to reading. A while later they heard a spade shoveling dirt. That went on for almost an hour. Mary cracked a window, but she couldn't pinpoint where it was coming from. Then it stopped. Not long after came a hammer driving nails into wood. And the sound of a woman crying. She was begging too. But the words were muffled like she had something in her mouth. Mary started getting scared, but Jim assured her that the neighbours were probably watching a movie with the volume up real loud. After ten minutes, the hammering stopped, but the crying rose to miserable, terrified weeping and it sounded real close. Well, now Jim was worried, and he and Mary went out to the front yard, but they still couldn't pinpoint the sound. They just got back inside when the woman started screaming at the top of her lungs. When the deafening roar of a portable cement mixer echoed throughout the entire house, it finally hit Jim and Mary that the sounds were coming from their cellar. Jim panicked. He grabbed his 357, ran to the kitchen with Mary at his heels, flipped the cellar light on and leapt down the cellar stairs. He got halfway down and froze. The cellar was empty. And it was... quiet. They packed their things and left. Not long after all this happened, Jim and Mary did a little research of the house's history, hoping it had put their minds at ease. They found a headline from 1992 what dripped ice water down their backs. The last man to own that house was a quiet, timid carpenter who found out his wife had been sleeping with her party friends behind his back and laughing about it. When she came home one night, the husband bound and gagged her, nailed her in a makeshift coffin and buried her alive beneath the concrete cellar floor. I'm not saying I believe in ghosts or anything, but maybe houses got memories like people. And maybe they have a hard time forgetting certain things. <laughs>